Hey guys, so as you know, I uh, I am not a reporter and never claim to be, right? I also have, um, I think I have four different pages. One of them I have right now, uh, I think 15,000 followers. This one I only have like nine or 10. Another one I have like 11 or 12. Another one I have like 10. I don't know, whatever, right? Um, that, that's just what I've done uh, with the Facebook situation after my main page was uh, taken down. And um, on that page, I had close to 80,000 followers. So then I learned my lesson to um, create different pages just in case, right? Just in case, because sometimes, hi, Brian, sometimes your work gets lost um, as um, because Facebook can take it all away in a second, right? So anyway... Um, I, uh, I, as you know, I've dealt with a lot of, uh, a lot of hate and a lot of slander over the last few years. Right. Uh, but a lot of it, <laughs> a lot of it has come from the Port of Drug Traffic or Oscar Blue, but I'm getting somewhere. Don't get, don't get, uh, you know, don't get bored with his name just yet. I went to the store right now and through the news, because as you know, I am not a reporter myself, never claimed to be, um, I find out that the pe that the migrants got evicted from El Chaparral, right? Last night at like four in the morning, apparently, or something like that. Um, so apparently the real reporters of Tijuana <laughs> were there filming it live, documenting, you know, hundreds of National Guard people and um, National Guard and, uh, and municipal police and, uh, you know, all of that and um the ejército national guard you know police all of those people were there evacuating not evacuating but evicting the migrants from el chaparral which is where the migrant camp was at in tijuana so all the reporters in tijuana <laughs> were there right and keep in mind this is a page that i use recently more to expose uh criminals of all you know of all walks of life um so Apparently they came in the middle of the night and they evacuated. They evicted year. Hi, Ramona. And um, and so make sure you get all of this to Ali. Okay, make sure you do. So anyway, um, so <laughs> you know you've got all the major news channels there. You've got uh, you know Millennial and you've got you know all the major news. The real. The real reporters. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Say yes, no. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Here, let me, I have another phone. Hi, Raul. Share this everywhere, please. Um, let me know if you can hear me. If you can hear me, say yes, we can hear you. Let me know. Can you hear me? Let me, let me look at the video from my other phone. Real. Oh, cool. Okay. Anyway, long story short, all the news channels were there. All the reporters, all the reporters were there, right? And, uh, sorry, I got really bad allergies today from doing so much. The migrants were evacuated today. They were evicted from the, uh, from their shelter, you know, where they had been at since February 17th last year, which is right after Biden took office, right? All the major news channels were there in the middle of the night, right? Everybody got like amazing shots, you know, of the National Guard and the police. I mean, the riot police, because, you know, they thought it was going to be violent. Thankfully, it was not. Um, whatever, you know, there were approximately 480 migrants left. If, if you guys remember, I was there last week, um, and I did a video showing you guys how they, um, they had really decreased in numbers. Remember, there were thousands of them back in like August last year, yet last week, uh, there were only what I estimated to be around 600, right? Five, 600. Apparently there were 480. So anyway, they came in the middle of the night, you know, with uh, bulldozers and freaking everything to get them out of there, you know, getting 500 people out of a migrant shelter, um, camping out in the middle of, of, you know, our streets in Tijuana, 
um, it, it can be easy. So they expected violence. So they brought riot police. They brought national guard. Whatever. I'll, I'll tell you why I'm why I'm laughing, even though it's not really funny. Um, I mean, I'm glad they're gone because it's not really, you know, it's not really, it's not clean. It's not safe. Whatever. A child was abducted from the area last year. Whatever. So anyway, this morning, and again. If you want, if you don't want to hear about this, I ask you to go to my um, my Paloma for Trump page, Paloma number four Trump page, uh, where I try to keep it drama free. But remember this, remember this. Enemies don't. Enemies have to be dealt with. You can't run away from enemies. Okay, you have to expose them because while you're trying to do well and where, where you're trying to do things with your life they're attacking you but then they're attacking you in ways that uh sometimes that is not obvious you know like with me i've got this clown attacking me constantly he's not doing it on his account doesn't mean he's not doing it you know anyway he shows up oscar o blue shows up this morning at the migrant camp and then he's like where did they go i'm sorry i think it's really funny because imagine what this clown would have given to be to be a real reporter and get <laughs> sorry <laughs> this is christian laughing i know it is imagine what this clown would have given <laughs> You know, it's like, you know, it's like the opposite from Christmas morning. You know how when you wake up at Christmas morning and you've got all these gifts, you know that feeling when you wake up and like Santa was there overnight and you're like, oh my God, where did these gifts come from? Imagine how this loser felt when he woke up and then, you know, pretend that he was a reporter that morning, even though we know he's not because, you know, reporters have networks here, you know? They all, a lot of them don't get along, but they call each other, you know, they let each other know what's going on, whatever. Um, but imagine he wakes up and he reads the news from actual reporters, you know, because it came out on the news this morning, apparently at seven in the morning. And he realizes he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> they're gone and i missed it like he missed the shot you know how that you get i know it's christian laughing I, did you ever did you ever see him trying to get the shot in tapachula because he was trying to go viral because remember to this day the guy still has not had a viral video so i'm mixing humor here with news so i guess the news is that the migrants are gone and i'll do a video about it tomorrow on my main page but the humor is that oscar L. clown missed the <laughs> sorry guys he missed the event <laughs> He missed it, and he didn't get the shot. <laughs> and um, and he missed all that. I mean, it would have been gold for him, you know. Uh, uniform people, you know, migrants crying, you know. And he, you know, you notice ever since he had me attacked, physically attacked last year. Remember when they tried, they uh, they started beating me up because he told them who I was, um, and he uh, and they uh, they they physically attacked me. Notice he never went back, and it's been almost a year since that happened. Remember that that incident, uh, Christian, when Oscar Blue had the migrants physically attack me, literally putting my life in danger. Um, and so he never went back either, because then they found out who he was too, right? And <laughs> and so now he would have been able to go back, you know, with National Guard and everything else. But since he's not a reporter, nobody told him he didn't get the memo. <laughs> he didn't get the memo and he missed out on the eviction. <laughs> he didn't. Anyway, guys, um, tomorrow I'll go. Uh, I'll do, uh, you know, a more serious. You, you Guys, you got to take things in life with humor, no matter what it is. Um, as you know. One of my friends, one of my dear friends recently died. And I told her, do not listen to Oscar and his crew. Do not let them get to you. Do not let them do this to you. You know, do not let them upset you. 
do not let them i mean yeah it's upsetting <laughs> christian it's upsetting it is you know when they um have an entire page when oscar blue and his criminal mob have an entire page that or many pages dedicated to uh to mocking you and degrading you and bullying you and you know defaming you and slandering you i know but you know what though they've got a lot on them too. make fun of them you know um so anyway imagine how he felt today when he opened up the newspaper or turned on the news <laughs> and he realized that that because he's not a reporter the reporter didn't the reporters in tijuana did not include him in the uh in the big event last night which was the evacuation the eviction of the migrants and he woke up he's like he went there he's like where'd they go <laughs> where'd they go sorry i just i can just only i can imagine his frustration when he said when he was busy stalking me you know and talking to ali bradley about me <laughs> And bragging about his supposed restraining order. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. He was busy, you know, fighting with Paloma for Trump. <laughs> he was busy fighting with Paloma for Trump <laughs> while the migrants were getting evicted by hundreds of, um, you know, National Guard elements and, you know, and uh, federal police elements. <laughs> And, uh, <clears throat> and he didn't get the <laughs> and he didn't get the shot. <laughs> he missed out. <laughs> they came, they kicked his ass, because remember they kicked his ass too last year? And then <clears throat> they stayed there. He couldn't go there for an entire year. And now they're gone. I got, oh my God. Now they're gone. And, uh, and he missed out. <laughs> anyway, guys take life with humor all the time and you know especially oh yeah oh really he was so he was there this morning going where'd they go where'd they go <laughs> Trial, he was trying to milk the news then i'm so sorry oh my god he was trying to milk the news and as always uh, be was he begging for coffee, Ramona? <laughs> Where <did> they go? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Me and Christian have a lot of fun laughing at this loser. Um, and uh, so anyway, anyway, sorry, I'm getting some messages. We have a lot of fun. Because anything that these people do... Um, you. A lot of it is really deranged, so you just got to laugh at, you know? And Christian has been um, watching him along with some other people for years. And uh, he has all kinds of... Poor little... Poor, poor witty Oscar. <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> anyway, um, that's what happens when you're not a reporter and the people don't want anything to do with you, you know? Anyway, I'm going to go, guys. <laughs> uh, I just got a video where the uh, National Guard... And the, Oh, is it live? Because we saw a live video. I mean, I have videos too, There, but I wasn't there. I could post videos, they're just not mine. I mean, we can all get videos, you know, but I don't, I don't see him going live anywhere, you know? So anyway, my, my, um, my worst addiction guys, or my only addiction really. <laughs> but anyway, um, I will talk to you later. I thought it was hilarious, you know? Anyway, I'm going to, I will talk to you later, but we just laughed so hard about this. And, um, and yeah, they were evicted from the migrant shelter at El Chaparral because enough is enough, you know? We don't want to have them on the streets with porta potties and under those conditions which is awful anyway who the hell wants to live there you know why would you why it's just no it's just not um anyway i will talk to you later and uh yeah oh people want to comment with uh 
with pictures. Okay, I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye, Christian. Thank you for the laughing faces because you know you always make me laugh. You got to come up with a new one. Oscar L something for not being, for not getting the call last night and not getting the shot. Okay? Anyway, bye, guys.